welcome to today's video, where I wanted to share with you another potential use case for chat GPT in project management. Now, if you're already a subscriber to my channel, you will have already noticed that I'm starting to use this tool to explore uh, some possibilities and options for making the most of my time and also to basically improve my processes. So I wanted to share with you today another one that I've come across, which I believe may be of benefit. Um, now, depending on where you are, in terms of um, your your week, this uh, may or may not be applicable for your current week, but you could maybe even introduce it next week. So you may want to, to head over to ChatGPT and you can do that via this link. I'll drop it in the description down below if you wanted to explore this further. Um, so just bear that in mind, you can do that. You may need to set up an account. But in today's video, I'd like to show you how we can use ChatGPT to create a project status report. So I'm gonna be showing you a couple of different prompts that you could put in uh, that are particularly useful. Now, the first one is very, very basic. I'm actually going to use ChatGBT to kind of suggest what we should be including in a status report if you're yet to create one or you want to improve uh, your existing ones uh, or maybe even have some new ideas as to what to include. So let's literally just ask, uh, chat GPT, what should a status report include? So I've asked her that question. Now, here we go. A status report should typically include the following components, an introduction, a progress summary, current status, an action plan, an overview of the risks and issues, and a concluding statement summarizing progress made. Now we've got at the bottom here a note saying it's important to note that the specific components of a status report may vary depending on the project or organization. The above list is meant as a general guideline and can be adjusted as needed. Okay, so with that in mind, please can you create a status report for a finance project? So as you can see, I've not actually ran this prompt before. Uh, I'm actually just going to do this um, just to see what chat, chat GPT can do. And what I've done is I've built it on the existing prompt. So here we go. Um, what, we, what, what we're doing here is it's literally given us an example uh, based on um, the information I gave it as in being a finance project. So it's actually given us an example of a new financial reporting system. And as you can see, it's actually filled out these sections. So you could just up simply update this with uh, information from your own um, from your own projects it, or you know you could actually um, you know just strip it back and just keep this as a template even and that's going to be my next prompt that I show you um, we're going to ask it create a project status report template so that's another potential prompt you can use and as you can see here it's it's almost doing the opposite of um, the financial one I've just shown you. It's just giving us um, the, the template itself, but it's giving us the kind of information that you need to capture within each section. So we've got the project summary, the accomplishments, challenges, upcoming tasks, budget, risks and issues, next steps, conclusion. And then at the bottom, we've got any insert any relevant graphics or charts as needed, and even a signature. So you could use some of this, you could use all of this. And to do that, you would simply left click on your mouse, you'd scroll with everything that you'd want. You know, you can hold shift on your keyboard, control C, control V in Word, if you wanted to use it in Word. Um, and, and then you've got your, your kind of uh, status report. You could say, um, provide this template as an Excel. Oh no, let's change this. Provide this status, provide this project status report as uh, in X, uh, in, no, let's put in tabular, tabular format. Okay, so this one's pretty good. So this is what you could use in Excel. So what it's done, as I've asked it to, it's literally put it in, in, um, into, ta into tables and this, you could put this into Word as well, but it's just giving you some extra formatting. Um, so it, let's just literally open up Word. I'm gonna open up a new Word application um, and I'm gonna go back into here and I'm literally going to, so this has got a whole bit on the budget, um, including the budget, the total budget, the budget spent, the budget remain. This is fantastic. So we could literally just, you know, I'm held shift there, control C, put this in Word 
Control V and the formatting has gone, you know, that's not too bad. It's not the most aesthetic formatting, um, but you can, you can copy it in. Um, it, we'll paste it in various different ways. So we don't want to keep the source formatting. The merge formatting doesn't look too bad. So if we did that, then we could obviously just make some changes here. Um, if I can, I can't select that for some reason, but you, oh, there we go. Maybe it's because, oh, okay, that wasn't the heading. So what you could then do from here is you could literally start playing around with uh, the formatting in this, um, you know, you could change, even put some headings in. Um, so you could do something like, uh, you know, you could just turn this into a heading, a heading, and you could do things like format painter. And you see what I mean? You can, you can play with the formatting uh, once it's in here, but it does just give you a, a quick uh, and easy template that you can kind of build from, from scratch. So that's what I wanted to show you there. Now, finally, I wanted to show you another potential use case for creating project status reports. And this time it, is it would work from if you've kind of got some some data. So let's say I've kind of created this ahead of time. It's very, very basic as you will see, but I've just given some basic information about this potential project and what's going on. So we've got a website launch as an example. It's on track. We've, um, we've got a content and design team working on the proof of concepts. That shouldn't be POF, that should be POC. Uh, for let's put company website, um, we need to provide three potential website designs by next week. We've got a couple of risks here. I've not called that out, so it'll be interesting to see what ChatGPT what it does and does with these and classifies them. But we've got a couple of risks. You know, there's server issues. We've got um, the potential that the content is not provided by the project team in time. It's an external dependency that is required here. Uh, and Peter, who's the main developer, is out of office next week. So. Um, and the timelines are tight. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna press Control C, we're gonna go back into ChatGPT, let's start a new chat, and I'm gonna say, please can you create a project status report from the following, semicolon, Control V, get it in there, and press Enter. So look what it's done, it's, it's, it's given us the title, and it's given us a high level summary at the top. Um, however, uh, overall, the website launch project is on track with the content design teams currently work on a proof of concept. So it's actually pulled out POF, oh, not POF, <laughs> said it again, P uh, POC, it's actually put the full, um, it's not used the acronym, which is interesting, working on, on a proof of concept for the company website. It seems to provide three percent website design which will allow for further refinement and finalization of the website's design. See, I didn't say that, but that's what it's, it's come up with and it sounds great. However, there are a few potential roadblocks that may impact the project's progress. And then it's, it's this has actually listed it. So it's not maybe, you know, it's not given us um, the exact formatting that we've seen before, but maybe we could we could um, prompt uh, the the system to do so. So um, rewrite the above with the um, with the uh, server issues content creation and main developer content. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll give it a go as listed as risks. If I can spell as risks. Okay, so it's running again and it doesn't look like it's worked. So this is where you need to play around with the tool. Um, sometimes it's great. This is literally just rewritten it. It's, it's actually not been useful whatsoever um, on this instance. But you see what I mean? The, the tool is still being developed. It's worth experimenting and exploring. I quite like getting the template out, um, which was, you know, this, this kind of uh, one. Um, and at the very least, it gives you ideas of what to include. So if you've never created a status report before, you, you know, it's giving, giving you an idea of putting in things like, um, you know, accomplishments, challenges, upcoming tasks, the budget, risks and issues, next steps and conclusions. So this is where I think it's really, really valuable at the moment. Maybe plugging in data, it's not quite there yet. Maybe there's some better prompts you can give it. So um, that's what I would suggest that you do. Um, if I go back into here, and I just wanna show you actually, um, I copied and pasted that as a, as a table. Let's just try and do so as, um, like there's plain text. Let's literally get rid of this. I'm gonna just get rid of all this quickly. I say quickly, couldn't be slower, could I really? 
Right, let's get rid of that. And now I'm gonna press right click on my mouse and I'm actually gonna select the text only. So here, you know, this is when you could, um, you know, it, it might be a better formatting. You could kind of work from here. So really, I've been going on for a while. So I think at this point now it's time to end the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did hit the like button, that tells me I should continue recording videos like this. Um, and if you do want to subscribe to my channel, that'd be great if you haven't already. Um, and you can hit the bell notification to be notified of when I release videos like this. And if you haven't checked out my channel before, I've got plenty of project management playlists that may be useful for you. Uh, I've got various different ones on project management training. So that could be anything from methodology to processes to templates. I've also got playlists on different project management tools, whether that's the likes of Smartsheet, uh, Asana, or, or you know those kind of those kind of tools. I've even got a, a one on ChatGPT specifically. So. With all of this said, I hope you have an excellent day.